Hello everybody and welcome back to my Spanish Shripada series. Uh, I was looking over the map and I noticed there was two things that I wanted to make changes on. The first was that this uh, city is about one turn away from border growth and I had said that when that happens I'm going to uh, go ahead and build that workboat. So we'll do that there. Go ahead and put the hospital back so I don't have to bother with it. And then also um, as far as my techs go um, on the way to plastics, uh, replaceable parts isn't nearly as important as radio. We don't need the military right now. I'm not going to have a great engineer soon enough that having the Statue of Liberty available in five turns is going to be meaningful. Meanwhile, having broadcast towers to build, some of my cities are running out of things to build at this time. And if I had replaceable parts, you know, we'd be waiting ten turns till there was the next useful thing to build rather than only the five. The broadcast tower is going to be pretty useful simply because we, until we finish the rationalism tree, uh, culture is basically translating into science. We're going to get, um, well, I guess not so much with these policies. We'll get gold off of this one. But once we finish, we can start putting the faith we've been storing towards great scientists, and that'll make a difference. Um, but yeah, the, uh, and then after we finish Rationalism Tree, we're going to need three tenants to be able to buy spaceship parts. So we currently need five policies before the end of the game. And as you can see, we're rapidly approaching the end of the game. Um, on top of all of that, we do have a <clears throat> great scientist about to spawn. I'm going to skip this because I know I can do well without it, but I don't know how badly I need to keep my gold. Seven gold per turn and stuff. Yeah, that seems a little rich. Uh, but what I was going to say is we got a great scientist coming up soon, which means plastics is going to be available even sooner. Um, so if we can get those broadcast towers at least partway built, then um, be a little bit better off there. So let's go ahead and take the oil. We want to work that tile. So I'll go ahead and move that. It really is great that I put a boat to this city for food when I did. Alright, so there's that. In fact, because the boat is coming here, I'm tempted to build a museum first. Because a museum, is, I believe, is a requisite for uh, broadcast tower. So um, between that and the research labs, uh, I guess the build queues are getting a little stuffed up in some cities. Anyways, let's go ahead and take this. We're currently making 193 gold per turn. Now up to 227. That's a good jump. If I had re realized that was right around the corner, maybe I would have accepted Greece's proposal, but I don't think I'm going to get punished for not. Uh, let's go ahead and do museum. Uh, I'll still do archaeology wherever I can, but I don't know how much I can, so he's going to come over here. He's going to get started. I'll leave my frigate there just to uh, just in case something should spawn. But I'm pretty sure everything's going to be safe there. Um, he was coming over here to see what's going on here. Oh, no, I wanted a visibility on that. This just happened, so... I said something about losing iron. This must be what it was talking about. Anyways, I did bring up some oil... And I'm only going to need two for my own empire, so we can go ahead and sell two of those off. Melima. Nope, okay. She's still upset that we uh, buddied up with Attila, so... And it's understandable. She's uh, in a really good position as far as like being my rival here. Oh, thank you. Ormuses and haw. More food in the capital. Never hurts. Never hurts. Well, maybe in the very beginning of the game when you're struggling with happiness it can be a detractor, but in the long run, even in that scenario, it's worthwhile. So, you just chill out for one more turn. Alright, it looks like they have that under control, so I'm just going to have him head back once we do finish plastics. Or, uh, uh, the one I just turned off. Uh, replaceable part or replacement parts. What 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 unit needs? Oh yeah, he actually just arrived. Okay, good. 
So yeah, in the broadcast tower, since we're putting great works everywhere, the multiplier is even going to be beneficial pretty much in every city. Um, what we'll do is we will maybe buy a broadcast tower in the capital just to have it online immediately. Well, no, I'd want to save my money for the research labs, perhaps. I was just thinking as I complete various towers, then we'll move the works into those cities just to get the most out of what we're doing here. Um, to be honest, at this point I really don't care about either one of these, so I'm just going to try and get in her way a little bit. I don't know if I should be caring about the World's Fair at this point, but um, the amount of time it would take to finish, I, I just don't see being able to reap the rewards very well. Keep all my boats together, more or less. i just head to the west, because yeah, you just defend, and that should be everything, right? Yep, good deal. Sure. Anything to help convince other people that I'm not a monster for being nice with to a Toa. Yeah, he's sitting here threatening us. No problem. Warsaw and Laz are both in my religion. That's pretty nice. Um, okay. Cordoba. Keep working as many specialist slots as we can. Those will become even more valuable once we do get Statue of Liberty. World's Fair passes. Alright. I clicked off the other one too soon. Did it say it, 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 it passed or for, was not passed? Alright. So World's Fair is in effect. If we do run out of uh, construction projects in any given city, we can just do that. All right, they made peace. Oh wow, Poland's still like settling cities. Huh? I guess he's uh, trying to make good on uh, too good by Boudica. Anyways, hospital's done here, so we're gonna do the museum, of course. Broadcast towers will be available next turn. Uh, let's see here, capital spits out archaeologists in four turns. Um, I'll go ahead and say archaeologist, but obviously once the broadcast towers become available, it's going to be way more important in the capital, since that's where I've been dumping all my great works, because we already have a multiplier there. Savvy? Alright. And we are friends with them, so it's not going to matter if we're trespassing. Trespassing. Let's see here. Hospital done, and apparently this is a city where we have already built the museum. So, again, I will put a turn in on the archaeologist. Move stacked unit, it tells me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how many archaeologists we're going to get, ultimately. So I'm not sure how far I should, like, you know, send my people out. Okay. Uh, this one seems safe enough. It's close enough. Yeah, perhaps that one. It's a little bit distant. Oh, this one. While we uh, have a reason to believe it's safe. Sure, why not? Alright, this archaeologist is about to be finished. Let's go ahead and do that. Create Spanish work. Alright. I don't remember how long it's been since I've looked into this. Alright, theming bonuses. Filled with art from different eras and different civilizations. Oh, you know what? I don't think Budapest counts as a civilization, so I'm not so sure. Wait, let me read that again. With art from different eras and different civilizations. It doesn't say not the one in the city, so Spain is eligible here, but we only have the one civilization right now. Um, medieval, medieval, medieval. And it said different eras and different civilizations. Okay, so the fact that everybody I can swap with is medieval means we can't do that. Well, we could probably do this one. Let's see. Um, both from the same era and either both from the city civilization. So we want Spain from the same era, basically. We have modern, classical... Renaissance, classical. Okay. 
So we swap that and that, and we get that. Um, we're not going for culture victory, so this isn't all that important, but since it is free, there's really no reason not to just take it. Um, I definitely don't want to do that. Mm, no, but I'm glad you're willing to do something about it. Same. The whole world's hating on Attila. Unfortunately, Poland and him just settled up, so... But that won't matter once the replacement parts is finished. I'll... My upgrade will be... Or my, uh army will be bumped. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, we already have the option of upgrading a boat. We're just waiting for the coal to come back, which will be in seven turns. Acoustic stolen. Oh, no. Using grasp on Sydney. That'll mean four happiness dip. That's actually okay, because once we get back into the, uh, I don't know, we can always buy our way back into that if we absolutely have to. They've been our ally pretty much all game, so that's pretty cool. All right, replacement parts is going to be the next one. Um, we're going to have a great scientist here shortly, so that'll get finished up, and we'll pretty much have plastics after that almost for free, I'm guessing. All right, just chill. Oh, wait, before I forget, um, we did choose a policy, which means radio is finished, which means in this city we are going to build a broadcast tower. And it does say required building museums, so the cities that have not built museums yet just simply won't be able to build it until that is finished. Alright, so what are the other cities building? Museum, so we can't rush that obviously, same here. Um, hospital, it's just one turn to finish, so I'd let it finish anyways. Looks like he already has the museum, so it'll be broadcast tower after that. And here... Uh, I don't see a museum, but I do see broadcast. Okay, so everybody's on deck for building broadcast towers. That's really good as far as the culture growth goes. Let's see, Caravan was feeding Madrid. I'm just going to let that keep rolling. I know hospitals are up and everything, but... Uh, we still have one, two, three, four tiles we could be working. Um, once the Statue of Liberty is up, even working these becomes decent because it's one food one product well, it's like one food one production and um, two science in addition to the golden merchant points um, I got a decent spread on my boats so maybe get a little closer to the capital like come up here it's not too important either way All right. and since I'm going back to the mainland um, Two, two. Oh, I can move four now, huh? Cool. I don't know how I achieved that, but I will take it. Alright, let's finish that up. What we got here? Spanish. Okay, and one thing I didn't look at when I was on here last time was the city. Oh, I guess I didn't have to. Everything was dumping into the capital, which is exactly what I wanted. Alright, so who would be next? Um... Cordoba, ideally, but they don't have their museum up yet, so let's just put that in Seville. Um, just the idea being, get the border growth going as near to my enemies as possible. And look at this, we're going to have a... Uh, we could actually buy into that right now. I didn't realize there was oil there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We don't have to buy another tile right away because it looks like there's stuff to clear there, but uh, better me than him. Uh, which means I can go ahead and sell off the oil that I have. Are you still hating on me? Yeah, alright. Oh, you know what I should be doing before I do this? I should be checking to see how many oil are actually on that tile. The only reason I didn't bother is because... Whoa! Yeah, that's worth some money. Um, <laughs> now she wants to be friends. She was hating on me last turn. I don't think these the strategic resource tiles ever have less than two. So the fact that I needed two. Um, iron from Sydney. Okay, so that's been restored. I think it's kind of playing against Attila. I'll share it with him just to be a little bit nice. All aluminum. Alright, so bear with me for a second while I uh, do all of that. Again, the reason why it's worth going through individual sales is simply because you get two gold per turn instead of one gold per turn or 45 gold or three gold per turn for two. 
because <clears throat> the computer basically considers these to be worth 45. So in this scenario here, it's basically just rounding up. But that rounding up is pretty significant, especially across all these individual items here. They'll just take all of them, huh? Well, I don't even know what he uses them for. I don't think anybody else in the world's got anything technologically that advanced just yet. Alright, on to broadcast tower, of course. Let's just go exploring. Do, do, do. Oh, look at that. We got our own little private island up here. <coughs> Excuse me. And getting better, but still not perfect. Alright, we'll have that worker tell me about what uh, what we actually need there. Oh, gotta finish the turn. Takes the jungle away. <coughs> so that would be a plains farm. I got a worker chilling here? I do. Let's go ahead and send him down to there. Well, he can't do it this turn, but... Um, Polish artifacts. So we're on our way to getting... Uh, I wonder what era that is. <coughs> Ancient. Okay, so that means that if we do swap for a medieval art... <coughs> Pardon me. Now, uh, let's see here. It says... Different eras and different civilizations. So we got a Poland from ancient... <laughs> And we got Spanish Modern, Industrial, Classical, Renaissance. Okay, so all of our Spains are disparate. We won't be able to satisfy this. But the point is that none of them are medieval. And that's all that matters. If we knew what our next Spanish one would be, we could make sure not to trade that one away. But um, let's just do Classical. Let's trade the Classical away. So we'll put that in here. Poland, Ancient, Spain, Modern. Spain Classical. Let's give the Spain Classical away. Oh. I wonder if that means she's only be interested in those? Okay, so clear. Will you take my Classical? No? I wonder why this is. I don't, I'm not familiar enough with this to know why it's only listing... Um, as long as I'm not trading with Poland, that's okay. Alright, so, it's looking like, uh, for some reason, it, they won't accept Classical. Maybe they're just, they have what it takes. Alright, so I guess I'll do Modern, just because it's least likely to cause any trouble in the future, I think. Yeah. Alright, do that. And then... Ancient, medieval, Byzantium, Poland. Wait a second. Art? Is that the difference? Because it says art, and this is technically a. Oh, what a waste. Alright, well, I know better next time. I didn't realize it specified art, but now I know. Alrighty, so everything else is looking good besides that little mistake. <laughs> That's okay, in a few turns here, these guys will be upgraded and my military score will go up even more. Once I get my coal back, my military score will go up even more. Madrid keeps growing. Happy to see it. Alright. We'll favor the food over production. Just to keep growing. I am in unhappiness, which means we probably lost Sydney. We did. Alright, so I know it's not worth it to just keep doing the 250. I mean, the moment you do 500, but... Um, let's see here. Oh, and two turns are going to love us all over again, so... We'll just do the minimum, get in there now, keep the growth going. There we go. Alright, on to broadcast tower. On to broadcast tower. Alright, so the museum's up in Toledo. Um... It's curious to me that they wouldn't want to grow here. But let's go ahead and dump some, uh, one of those great works into Toledo. Or two of them, actually. Seville? Yeah, 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 both of those. Um, see if we can speed up. Uh, let's see here. I saw it, I saw a jungle there. Marsh? It looks like jungle to me. Oh, because of all the jungle around. That's okay. 
Alright, so four turns to clear. He's going to put a farm there. Let's investigate our island. Okay, it's meager, but, you know. Yeah, just keep on going. We'll dock here and head over here to relieve my boat. The boat's over only over there to keep an eye on the barbarians over there. <laughs> Said somebody was searching for science. Seville has grown. Um, yep, that is the tile I would work next, I do believe, until this farm gets up. So we'll do that. Florence searches for science. I'm definitely on it. Alright, museum's done here on the broadcast tower. Um,. Once plastics is available, I will on a case-by-case -case basis probably prioritize research labs over broadcast towers. Um, it's actually not an easy call simply because um, if we don't have the spaceship parts policy, we're just going to have to build these anyways. So that's time we're going to be waiting, and if we had put that time in upping the culture a little bit, overturns that accumulates. Um, that's actually relatively cheap. And I think we're sitting pretty good on gold. I'm gonna be buying some military upgrades. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the spaceship parts were like 3,000. We're gonna need 6,000, but we got a long time to... Um, I'll go for it, because we're about to get the policy that um, buffs that anyways. Um, this one here. Yeah, Zerk. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't realize it wasn't my turn. Yeah, she approached me, so I should have known. Anyways, do I got to work over here? I do. So let's go ahead and start getting on to that. Great person born. Um, got plenty of academies, and we are getting towards the end of the game, so I'm just going to do the bomb. Nothing Replaceable is parts is done. On to plastics. It's only going to take three turns. And now we can upgrade our... Rifleman. I know nothing. That's what I think of every time I see that hat. Um, horses. Is anybody still using horses? It's kind of like outdated tech at this point. It actually doesn't look that way. Alright, and Sydney's in awe of us, so yeah, they're going to be ours for the rest of the game, essentially. Um, that boat is fine where it's at, I suppose, so. And, wow, does he got some mobility there? All right, this boat's about ready to be freed up. This caravan was going to Warsaw, and I intend to continue that. We're even getting a little bit of uh, science back now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, research labs will be available in three turns. Hmm. Two turns after that, the capital. I don't know here. I don't know. Why is my happiness getting low, though? Uh, let's see here. Next turn, we got whales come. Two whales coming back. The turn after that, we got whales and ivory coming back. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right, it's that time of the stream y'all love, where I break the pacing just to do something that's mostly unimportant. Seville, so, yeah. No, Cordoba. Cordoba. Actually, you know what? Um, I doubt Toledo's going to grow a second border in time for that. So I'll just go ahead and put it all in Cordoba. Yep. Oh, I got a little bit of theming bonus there. Why is that? Um, both from the same era and either both from the city civilization or both from civilizations. So I have Budapest and Sydney. Oh, yeah, and I just happened to put them together, but they're different eras. That's why. Um, so industrial, renaissance. Oh, I already got these matched up. Ancient medieval. I have a medieval over here. Byzantium. That does not help. Okay, so I'll keep the Byzantium in there since. Um, just real quickly, does anybody else have something that's not medieval? No. no. Okay. On with the show! Hmm. Water 
copper out there, doesn't matter. Copper and incense. Okay, so those whales were spoken for, but that's fine because I've got two other unique luxuries coming back next turn. And these guys appear to still want this trade. So, happiness will hold for now. Actually, the moment we get our next policy, we get another great scientist from Faith. So we'll have another science bomb at that point. Yep. Keep going for the gold, so to speak. Alright. Research labs. Research labs becoming available also marks the availability of upgrading to infantry, right? Great war infantry. Up. Yeah, okay. And it, those will be 120 gold each. Wow. It's hard to believe those uh, upgrades come back to back like that, you know? Um, I'm, he's freed up now. I'll go over here and check out. Yeah, I can just leave him parked there, actually. Um, no, I want that back. The lump sum was nice before, but now I'd rather have the happiness. Because we only have to hold out for two more social policies. Once I get the next tenet in uh, ideology, we'll get the one that does happiness for... Uh, banks and stock exchanges. Alright, so one more specialist slot that we'd like to be working there. Keep on growing. And, alright. Um, this is a food and three hammers as opposed to four hammers. We'll do it that way. Keep on growing. Uh-huh. Alright, so happiness is doing good. Right as we did it say we're about to lose Zerk? No? Something about Zerk. And they're worth two happiness, but I think this amount of happiness will hold us until um, we can get that tenant. Alright, four turns. We'll have a great engineer. We'll rush Statue of Liberty. Get a free social... That's right! They give a free social policy. Okay. So we're actually probably about six turns or five turns for having that happiness. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and sell off the whales for a lump sum if she wants them. Oh wait, we're trading uh, whales for silver with her, I think. Okay, but the ivory. I'm less likely to trade the ivory, obviously, because we don't have a million of them. But right now, we have seven uh, banks and stock exchanges, so that tenant's going to be worth 14 happiness. And we'll have rationalism finished in five. In four, we'll have a great engineer that can rush the Statue of Liberty, so it's just going to be a couple turns after that, if at all. So I think it's safe to sell something off. Let me look at my growth rates here. We're going to grow in three, four, five, six. So if I sell one off, I'll be at four. That's that's a little risky. I can just wait. I'll just wait until uh, those trades are actually made. Minor victory, because he's anti mounted and I'm currently mounted so let us swap these two out yes let us swap those two out. okay and this is a grassland but it's got oil on it hmm one two three one two three so it'd only be worked by this city and it is gonna grow but in 14 turns I don't feel like waiting for that let's go ahead it sucks that you can put an offshore rig up in a turn, but I realize the workers are reusable, so that's the difference. Still, let's come down here to keep an eye on those that situation while these guys make their swap. I'll be on top of that list in just a moment. Alrighty, so... You hop over there, do that. That's actually a decent tile compared to what we already got, so... Uh, oh, because it's desert as opposed to plains. Very nice. And in 11 turns, we will have... What? It wants the atoll over that. Hmm. Well, next time we grow, I'll just buy the atoll because that's a good growth tile. And then it'll probably want to come there. Either way, 
Well, okay, coal to Theodora is done. Um, so is it Frigate that can upgrade with coal? No, 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 no. Ironclad. Um, Caravel. Okay, so it's a Caravel. You come get your coal on. Bam. Ironclad. Only moves four. Well, we got the buff, so we'll move five. Still seems seems like that's slower. No matter. Alrighty. After plastics. I do think penicillin is the way to go for the medical labs. Mm-hmm. And, uh, once... Statue of Liberty... Oh, wait, no. We don't have to wait for Statue of Liberty. In four turns, we'll have this, and then we can use the Faith. So, uh, penicillin's gonna be online. Uh, four turns. Alright. So he's coming up here to deal with that pikeman. He's going to come down here to keep the visibility down here. He's just chilling to maintain visibility while I make the swap. Finish the farm there. That is a good tile. Uh, three turns until growth. Um, wait, can I work that with the other city? One, two, three. Yeah, I can. Probably better. Yeah, instead of this one. There you go. There you go. Alright. That is good. Okay, pretty exciting times. Lots of uh, policies and wonders and great people coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do apologize for the downtime while I'm playing with the tourism, especially when you consider it's really not important. It's just, it's there and free, and I am kind of trying to relearn different aspects of the game that I have forgotten. So, thank you for your patience there. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.